we finna hit him with the first one. We are about to bring up the one. What? What you got? Nothing. No. Oh, I thought you. Okay. Y'all, cause you know, I can, look, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Sometimes y'all don't see, cause her hand, she reached out like. Sometimes y'all, she be, she really do be trying to feel on me. Like, Ooh, man, during come, lives and stuff. Bro, so and you try to feel on me, baby, every on, other man. time. Wow. How about that? And here we go. <laughs> Without further ado, yes, our first guest is none other than Miss Erica. From my fly family. Hello, 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 everybody. How are you? I'm doing Thank well. You. Doing well. Can't good. complain. Good. It's good to see you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I love Wait. your top. Ma? Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, you got you, you have a top. Okay. She said top. Well, you got the logo. Thank, you got promote. Thank, thank you, you Eric. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. about my top. Bro. I was hoping somebody would say something about it. It took forever to pick out. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, we wait for some people to get up in here. You know how we do it, Erica. We like to speak. Right. We first want to say thank you for our support, for being an amazing supporter, for rocking with the hashtag BCIAC family. Yep. We're going to step back a little bit, let you tell us about you and what you got going. And, baby, you, you, I, I want y'all to. Yeah, yeah. Tell, them, <laughs> tell the people who you are. Tell them about your great channel. Tell the people about you. Okay, um, I'm Erica from My Fly Family. Um, we I started with My Fly Family, who is my husband and my son, Young Gunner. It's mm -hmm. more of a two way channel where they're more two way. So we was we started off with that. Then I was like, mm, I want to branch off. I want to show the garden side of things, the prepping side of things, um, how I shop for my prepping stuff. So that's why I decided to um, not really branch off because they still on a channel with me, but more or less. <laughs> right, I, want right. <laughs> I want to just show people how it could be if you if you're a prepper or even a gardener, there's different ways of shopping. So you don't have to feel overwhelmed buying certain objects. Right. Um, that's basically what it's about. And it's showing like the different crafting things that I do. I make candles and everything else. Yes, yeah, she so, does. Yeah. Y'all should check that out. I saw that. I like the pine cones and the stones in there and the glitter. Thank I was like, you. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I like my candles to look nice. I don't like just right. plain candles look like everybody right. else's stuff. Yeah. I love it. And thank, <laughs> and thank and you. Didn't thank somebody you. go to Sonic too? So, yeah. So, did somebody go to Sonic just out the kindness <laughs> of their heart? Right. I just knew that we should go I, to Sonic. So we went to Sonic. We got a nice little double <laughs> nice. burger with the onions. <laughs> nice. I'm happy for you. Right. I'm happy for you. When we come back to the state. Yes, J Red, thank you for saying that because I was just about to say, Erica, could you drop? You know what the drop ain't nobody dropped it yet. Hashtag yes, BC. Yes. 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 And y'all, yes. this is where you can find Erica of My Fly Family. That's right. And you can also check out My Fly Family. Now, y'all already know. We done told y'all before. It's that it's a little bit of everything over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. We started out, we still centered in and around gardening. Mm -hmm. But the longer you do it, and that's something <laughs> I love about Erica doing, right? Mm -hmm. It all goes together. Right. Yeah. It all coincides. I mean, if you if you it's just a big circle right. eventually because if you 2A, you usually exercise those privileges, that that those rights, because right. you're guarding something. You're mm -hmm. protecting yourself, yep. your liberty, your freedom, your property, right? Well, if you right. got a half an acre worth of, worth of cabbage out there, whether it's a deer or a deer with two legs, <laughs> maybe you want right. to say cabbage place. Right. Right. So that's what I'm saying. And, and sis, feel free elaborate more about not just your new channel. Um, also feel free to discuss anything you want to share about uh, my family. Um, with the two way channel, 
with my fly family, we more or less did it as a family just because I want you to understand the to get your children involved. And anything that you do is important for your child to get involved. The way the economy yes. is going at now, you want to have your child prepared for later on when they get older and they know how, they don't have to be in that panic of anything. It was important for me to teach my son also how to shoot is because if my five family is not here, my son, who is 11, who is now the man of the house when his father walks out the door, he's also right. now feels like he needs to protect me. And then plus it gets yeah. the curiosity out of it. And when he goes into, goes back to school, because he is homeschooled, and there's, you know, a gun situation, I want him to know how to handle situations. Mm -hmm. With all these school mm -hmm. shootings and everything else, I want him to understand the protocols, where to go, how to be safe about everything. So that was a big, big thing. But more or less, I didn't want to have handguns in my household without teaching him the responsibilities of having this this um, firearm in our household. Absolutely. Yes. And, you know, I want to take the opportunity to say this uh, because it's, it's been, you know, it's not that it's taboo. I think the fear of the current state of the world makes it taboo and people don't want to talk right. about some things that are in some cases inevitable and in other cases highly probable. So right. uh, for you for you as a mother to take the, the stance that you've taken, which I completely agree with being being, you know, we country. Um, right. We we grew up around um weapons firearms yep. no big deal you know right. you're safe with it you treat it like what it right. is you take the proper precautions and that's just what that's just everyday life right um, you have that right. respect for it. you have a respect for and it. you 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 learn it young you teach you teach that young so like you said it takes the curios curiosity out of it and it takes right. that fear and that panic out because mm -hmm. if right. you have to do what you have to do you the last thing you need to be doing is fumbling over it, right? And panicking, you know. So that's 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 really good. Muscle memory, absolutely. Muscle memory yeah. and and taking the 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 mystery away from mm -hmm. something. It's just, I mean, I'm sure anybody in the states with a, with a driver's license, from the first time you drove by yourself to being in your 40s or 50s, you almost go on autopilot. Yeah, right. That's because you've right. you've done it repeatedly. Right. And every time you got behind that wheel, you literally training and improving your skills. But right. another a bigger point I wanted to raise was the fact that that like you mentioned with your son, situations that he may find himself in out in the real world, at school, right. at the mall, hanging out with friends, wherever. Just bless you. Bless yes. you, bless the husband, bless the family, and bless any parent who has to have those levels of conversations about what you need to do to protect yourself in this new world right. we're living in. Right. It's necessary. It's sad that we have to do it, but it's necessary. Yes. Right. You know, what and what what kind of got you there? Like if you don't if if you don't mind me asking, when did you know? Um, Go ahead. Um, first we we lived in New York. And then we moved to South Georgia. When we moved to South Georgia, my uncle was like, mm, you can't live in your area without a firearm. Mm. And yeah. I was like, well, I don't know because of the child. He said, no, there, there's nothing to know. This is this is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we did our research and everything. And what happened was uh, young Gunner went over to a, his friend's house and his friend pulled out a, a, a gun, a rifle. And he was like, oh, we go shooting all the time. Now, my son was like, well, this is not normal for me. <laughs> right. And yeah. He, came home, he was like, hey, this little boy got firearms. I ain't know what to do. So then mm -hmm. I was like, all right, it's time. It's time because, again, he was unaware of what to do until he got home to talk about it with us. And I said, well, that won't happen again this is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it. And then um, my lovely husband on for a birthday gift was like, hey, here's your first revolver. And I was excited. Yeah. <laughs> was excited yeah. From there. But it was more exciting teaching our son more than 
anything. It was the fact that we mm -hmm. was all learning together and right. just it, it was fun. It was it was more or less now it's a more or less their hobby, their fascination and everything else. It got mm -hmm. to and, you know, my husband is coming through the back door with a new firearm. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it gets addictive. It does. It gets addictive. It does. And you know, that's that's something I'm missing. We want to share this openly too for those who don't know, for people who knew in the chat, knew in the channel. So my wife and I, we over here in East Africa and Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Um, um the ability to like go to the range, the ability to just go out in the country, which is what we do, that is our range. Um and just practice. And have fun, you right. know. I mean, clay pigeons that right. whole that whole nine uh, cans, whatever. Because this we on our land when we go home, so that that's just right. what we do. Being in a place where uh, it's extremely strict, the word is completely different. The you you can't just you no 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 right. no. Yeah. It can literally take right. almost. Uh, I've heard people being stretched out up to a decade to acquire a firearm. Uh, six wow. to seven, six years is about the average from the initial application time. Um, completely different. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah. So just the average person walking around, no, no guns. But um, you know, law enforcement, uh, stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sure that'll lead to a lot of questions yeah. <laughs> for for right, a lot of people. Because now I got a lot of questions for you guys. Like, how do you, like how do you adjust to that change? of shooting in your backyard to not not able to have a firearm mm, it was an adjustment it, it was yeah but but at the same time uh it's so culturally different, different. yeah it's yeah, okay. so culturally different that uh you know what we'll we'll try to we'll try and sit and, and really go do an in-depth video and try to explain that more Okay. Um, Cause we want this to be to be about you right now, but it is family. It's completely different mm -hmm. when you used to uh, my brother before he passed away. I mean, in the garage, it was just this this old twenty two that would just he just it just stayed in the corner. <laughs> it wasn't a big mm -hmm. deal. Like nobody. And I was like, dude, man, clean that thing, put it for it rust out. I mean, you know, East well, Texas humidity mm -hmm. all the time and stuff. Right. And some, yeah, so I mean, we just grew up in that culture where it was never an issue. Right. It was it was taken seriously. It was treated with with. Right. It was second respect. nature. It was second nature. It second was just nature. There. Yeah, you knew what it was. You knew what it was for. You knew you and didn't play with it. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I couldn't imagine going back to New York without my firearm. That was going to be my next question. Mm -hmm. You just yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah, I can't. I, was gonna, I can't. As much as I say, oh, I want to go back to New York and I want to eat the amazing food and see my family, I'm like, nah, they can come here. Like, I'm not yeah. willing to travel without my firearm. It's just my second nature. I, I can't leave home without it. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I understand. Yeah. I really do understand. Mm -hmm. um, it's an adjustment for us. And when we do, the thing about going back to the States is compared to here, when you, uh, I don't know. You see the need for that level of self protection. That's what I was gonna say. It's like over here we don't feel that need that we have to have it. Not okay. saying it As couldn't like, exist, it couldn't present you know, itself, but the not, day to day. Right, but day to day, not like of, it is in the States where you feel yeah. like, yeah, I need something need to, to have myself man. all the time. Yeah, but yeah. You know, like, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's always from us being for where we're from and us, that's just mm -hmm. kind of in us. Right. To right. you know, want to have it, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's not a. And and yeah. I, and we do, we both do. We mm -hmm. miss like practicing yeah. for fun, like yeah. you right. know. I mean, when you country, man, I mean, really, you get enough empty bottles, and then it's like, hey, we just finna go out here by the timber line, set them things up, maybe <laughs> go buy a box a box of clay pigeon for mm -hmm. Walmart, and y'all just go till out till the ammo gone. Have fun. Yeah, right. That's have like the perfect date me. for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Us yeah. too. <laughs> really. Really. Um, Eric, we, we, is there anything else you want to say, but we don't want to forget, baby? Don't. 
What do we always ask our guests? Yeah, tell the people one more time, Erica, where they can find you and your wonderful family. <laughs> and just, you know, if you got Instagram, Facebook, whatever, tell the people where they can find you. You can find me on My Fly Family um, and also Erica My Fly Family, both on YouTube. We're both pinning out different content. So, all right. Different content. So, you, Eric, Erica, if I, now, if I understand this correctly, I just want to make sure. Mm-hmm. Erica done did it now. She done, she done yep. got the pew pew. Yep. Now, Erica, you done ventured over into everything else that goes along with survival, everything that goes right. along with what you typically find in the 2A community. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, I do the gardening, I do the prepping, mm-hmm. and I thought about dipping into canning. Carbon's been getting on me about canning, but. Yeah. I'm Carbon Hill, who, 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 who would you be speaking of? Car- Carbon, Carbon, Car- Q. Carbon, Carbon Q. Oh, Q. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. She yes. wants to do the canning, but I guess with everything that I'm doing, plus homeschooling, I'm kind of mm-hmm. like, mm, I don't know if I can handle all that, but I might. I just might do yeah. a canning video one day and just be like, it just seems intimidating. You know, the, you of yeah. all people, uh, oh, really, you can do really. it. You can do when you start canning. Really, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be an obsession. It really is. I wish really? I could can because I grew up. We grew up with canning and, canning and preserves. preserves. You know, yeah. that's just kind of in us. Yeah. And over here, it's kind of hard to find the mason jars and the lids and the, lids. And the, yeah, the, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole yeah. setup, the whole canning setup. Mm-hmm. If we could find them jars, I have can. Everything, oh, yeah. Right? As much, yeah. You'd be so tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try it. Try it. Please try I'ma it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah. You know, I'm listening to you, Eric, and I'm listening to her, but I'm still hung up on you talking about it. This girl says she, int- this woman says she intimidated <laughs> by doggone care. She'll go out there and get that thing and go to work. Right? <laughs> but, right. But, but, but oh, some jars, okay. some jars that Ooh, you cut to your pearls. Let me cut my pearls. These jars, girl. Woo, these lids. How ah, about I just, I just, I'm done. I'm done. You got it, fam. You do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't, we ain't gonna keep. Yeah, we ain't gonna keep. Uh, I ain't gonna keep messing with her. This girl just said she. Like, I'm saying what happens if you overboil it or it pops? What happens if you don't do it right and then you think it's right and then you eating some spoiled food or something? I don't know. I got too much thinking about it. I if, understand. If, like, I'm like, saying, what, if, you know, if it's spoiled, smell you don't it. know. Hey, that's smell what I, say. Smell I don't it. care what it is. I don't you will know. You, <laughs> I don't care if you get some meat from the discount meat section. I don't care if you if it, hell, it might even be, your, your shoes need washing good. Just everything, smell it, smell it, smell it. You'll know. Always, you'll smell know. It. But and that is not medical advice because <laughs> Erica been and got messed around, caught botulism. She blew a laugh and dream and said, "They just said smell it. It's just smell it right there. I'm gonna be all right." Yeah, and it smells sweet. So we take that back. I retract my statement. I don't want you to do it. To I don't want you to do it till you feel secure within yourself. Right. Yeah. Hey y'all. <laughs> this is Erica, my fly family. Yes. Uh, Erica from my fly family. We love you. We appreciate mm-hmm. having you up here, yes, sis. Yes, we do. And uh, is there anything else you want the people to know before you? Uh, no. I just I appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Just, thank so are you. you. So are thank the you. Thank you, yes. sis. Uh, always welcome back anytime. anytime. We appreciate all the support. We appreciate all the love. We hope this is the goal of Friday Faves is to bring our favorite people yep. to our other favorite people. Yeah. So we this connect is it. everybody. Connect them. Yeah. This is what's right. Up. Right. All right. Thank you for being here, sis. Thank we really you so appreciate much. you. Tell the family we said hello and yep. salute. I will. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Y'all, that was Erica. That was Erica. My Erica, fly my family. fly family. Y'all check 
her out. In both channels. Both of them. Both channels. That's my, what I'm talking about. Come on, man. My two-way people. Yep. My, my prepping people. Yep. My gardening people. Yep. Because at the end of the day, y'all, it's just a big circle. It is. Facts. We appreciate right. y'all. We love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all already know how it goes down. Until the next time we see each other, baby, what are we going to be over here doing? I know what I'm going to be doing. I know what I'm going to be doing. Be in country, country, in another country. country. Peace. Peace. We're Hall of Family. Y'all take it easy now. <laughs>